Good morning and welcome to Newsfile. This is your most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on Newsfile, as always, we put Ghana first. The president has just joined in the use of, quote, existential threat, unquote, to appropriately capture what Galamse represents. But what does it mean to say something is an existential threat? That's self-explanatory, right? It is a threat to a people's very existence or survival. The Collins Dictionary says, when you face an existential threat, you have to make sacrifices to beat it. That's saying the obvious. The presidency feels he has been disappointed by his appointees in mining communities. But is he going to start disappointing those he has warned he will deal with without fear or favor? And that has been a major recommendation as an effective solution to ending the menace of Galamse. Many, including experts, have asked that the president should sack DCEs in mining communities where the illegal and life-ravaging Galamse goes on. But is it that simple, fair, and a solution at all? A DCE in a mining community tells me how he's practically unable to fight gun-wielding and well-connected Galamseyers who threaten those who report them to authority. They seem, the Galamseyers, to be able to pay their way out when handed to law enforcement. They even suspect that judges are compromised when dealing with these Galamseyers. But we still must win the fight to preserve life and livelihoods. This morning, we have a conversation with DCEs in mining areas, chiefs, and regulators who is not doing their job well to end Galamse, which is very attractive to those behind it and the jobless youth. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to deal with the vex matters.